Now, getting to President Park Geun-hye's second pick to be her new prime minister, he's found himself embroiled in controversy, just like the president's first nominee did. Uh, comments he made a couple of years ago have surfaced and are casting doubts on his confirmation prospects. And Dae Hyun Kyung reports. During a lecture at his church three years ago, Prime Minister nominee Moon chang guk said Japan's forced colonization of the Korean Peninsula in the early 20th century was part of God's will to awaken the Korean people. He added God also divided the two Koreas and that if the Korean Peninsula had been an independent state at the time, the South would have settled on communism. At a lecture the following year, the nominee put his ultra-right views on display again, saying Korea was able to enjoy economic development by adopting technologies from Japan during the colonial era, adding that it was a geopolitical blessing from God. He also said Korea was liberated from Japan not because of the People's Independence Movement, but because it was granted to Koreans by the will of God. In response, ruling Senate Party floor leader Lee Won Gu said he believes the comments were not ill-intended, but a small group of junior lawmakers from the ruling party has called on Moon to step down. The opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy's co-leader An Chur Su also called on President Park to withdraw Moon's nomination, saying it will be the right decision if she doesn't share his views. The man in question said it was regrettable that his comments were misinterpreted, but at the same time seemed firm that he had no intention of apologizing. Na Hyun Kyung, Arirang News.